Daisy. It's Mrs. Smith. I'm in class eight, as you can see behind me. Uh, I am going to read you this story about Martians, and it's called Marshmallows for Martians, and it's by Adam and Charlotte Gillane. I love marshmallows. A boy called George had a marvellous idea one night as he gazed at the stars. I'll go and find out what sweets Martians like best. So he planned his first mission to Mars. So George built a rocket and packed up his bag with a star map and plenty of treats. The bag full of the bag full to bursting, he threw out his lunch so he'd have enough room for his sweets. What a naughty boy. Fancy throwing all his lunch away. He packed lollipops, toffees and chocolate drops. He took chews with a sharp lemon zest. There were gobstoppers, jelly beans, humbugs and mints and marshmallows. His absolute best. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <gasps> As George blasted off and zoomed up into space, he looked at his map of the stars. He checked out the window and steered to the left and set his course straight towards Mars. <gasps> wow. Past satellites, comets and drifting ju space junk, George steered without even a bump. Then he finally saw... The red planet appear and landed on Mars with a thump. George opened the door in a cloud of red dust. He jumped out and looked all around. At first he saw no signs of alien life, but he could hear a very loud sound. George followed the noise to the top of a rock and peered down on an alien parade. Look at that. Their outfits were shocking, but far worse than that were the yodeling yowls that they made. <gasps> Excuse me, said George as he jumped from the rock. Are you Martians? he asked with a smile. We're yodelers from yodel, their leader replied, and we've not had a snack for a while. So George gave the yodelers some treats that he'd brought. They gave all the lollies a lick. Then they gobbled the jelly beans up in a flash until they began to feel sick. What have you done to our tummies? They roared. I'm terribly sorry, George said, but maybe you won't be so greedy next time. Then he picked up his sweets and he fled. George hid in a crater, but soon heard a bang, like the crashing of very loud drums. He peeped out and spotted an alien band with symbols attached to their bums. Oh, how rude. Are you Martians? It's called George, running up with a grin. No, we're bang bots from Wang Bang O Two. We've come to this planet to bang on our drums, but we might take a break and eat you. You don't want to eat me, said George with a gulp. These sweets are much tastier, you'll see. The bangbots crammed gobstoppers into their mouths and chewed on the on the toffee with glee. I like the toffees. But the bangbots soon found that their teeth were stuck tight and they howled and they roared in dismay. Then they started to bang on their cymbals in rage as George turned and scrambled away. His sweets almost gone. George slumped to the ground. I give up. The Martians have gone. There are too many visitors making a noise. But just then George heard a sweet song. And suddenly little green aliens popped up. With short stumpy legs and three eyes. They stomped towards George looking grumpy and glum. And they moaned and they wailed with great sighs. 
Are you Martians? gasped George. Yes, we are, they replied, and we are fed up with alien musicians. They come to our planet and make such a din, and they never ask for our permission. Can you help us? The Martians begged George in despair as a rock band from Saturn drew near. But just as the sound of guitars filled the air, George had a brilliant idea. He picked up the bag with the last of his sweets and called to the Martians, Come here! Then he took the marshmallows and carefully pushed one soft sweet into each Martian ear. cried the Martians. We can't hear a thing. You've made it so peaceful. Yippee! Then George jumped in his rocket and waved them goodbye as he zoomed back to Earth for his tea. I like that story. Imagine, I wonder what Martians do like to eat. Oh well, I guess we'll find out one day. Hope you're all well. Take care. Bye.